Here's a few wine tips and tricks I picked up over the years. So I'll give you a first example here. Uh, let me find the folder first. All right, let's say you have a game or an app or whatever, and it uh, you know doesn't run and doesn't give you any error. One thing you can do is uh, to try to troubleshoot it. Is uh, you know open the terminal and then drag and drop it in there, and then you push enter to run it. And they'll you know tell you some type of error or whatever. Like they say this one is missing a DLL file or whatever the hell it is. And hopefully you Google that and uh, you find it. Okay. This doesn't have to be Wine Apps. It can actually be uh, Linux or any uh, program on your Linux system. Uh, just drag it in there uh, and see what's uh, what's going on. You know. Hopefully they give you a message. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay. Anyways, that's one way to troubleshoot that. Uh, another thing is uh, making a launcher. Now there's a few ways to make a launcher, but um, sometimes it doesn't work the normal way. I'll give you an example. Let's say you have, um, you know, usually people they do this. Let me show you. You know, you point it to uh, wherever your exe is at. Uh, let's say uh, this is my path here. Sometimes that doesn't always work. So what you have to do is, uh, you know, you have to actually combine two command lines together, like cd into the folder, and then execute it. However, you would actually do that with a script, and you know, you have to make it with gedit or whatever text editor you use. Uh, one way to do this is just type out one command line that combines them both instead of wasting your time making an sh file. Anyways, uh, for the commands, you just go, you tell it to use bash or sh or whatever, and dash c for command. And then you start it out with uh, single quotes, okay? And you want to end it with single quotes also. So go in the end and then, you know, single quotes, okay? Anyways, you want it to go. Uh, first thing is CD into the folder so this is our uh, path here right and uh, let me get over here here and now you want to combine it so right here is where it ends uh, you use the and and thing here and dot slash and that will actually execute the program okay so after your CD is in the folder it's going to execute the program that one, uh, this one right here, it'll probably work like 90% of the time uh, if the normal way doesn't work, okay? So that's it for that. So if I run it now, say it loads up fine. And uh, let's go on to the next one, okay? Let's say you have a few wine apps pro, uh, you know, open. Let me see another one, whatever. And you want to kill it all, whatever. Uh, you can actually set up a high key to kill it. It's kind of like xkill for Linux apps, but this is xkill for wine, okay? So if I go uh, this, it'll close it all. It'll actually kill all the wine uh, programs that's running, okay? All the processes. Because xkill, it doesn't always kill wine uh, software. Uh, mainly because they have wine, they have like different processes at the end. And uh, if you ever play full screen, and this is only for people that actually use wine a lot uh, if you play like games in full screen and you know whenever it freezes uh, even if you try to X kill it, it doesn't always work and another time is uh, it, it goes black uh, in full screen and you can't you know escape it and you're stuck there uh, that's a good time to use this one okay so this one is called wine server dash K so what you want to do is actually set up a high key for it so let me go open uh, keyboard shortcuts here let me show you what to do here so just go add right and then make one shit uh, let me see what is that one here so all you have to do is just type in uh, wine server dash k and this one will kill all the wine processes and uh, that's what I use so it is the x kill for wine okay because uh, normal x kill is just uh, you know for, for the one process and that's for Linux uh, usually uh, but if you want to kill like wine apps, um, I would recommend using um, the wine server dash K. So that's it. Uh, those are the three uh, things that I thought was useful. Anyways, that's it for this one.